today we have a very good speaker with us uh, uh, will be addressing us on entrepreneurship development model through composite fish culture and ifs system means integrated fish farming model how we can take this as an entrepreneurship approach and we can maximize our profit along with our fish production and today's speaker is also from andhra so he is also going to address how this andhra practice are also prevailing in terms of entrepreneurship development model in coming days so we are starting our session very shortly maybe we'll take uh, three four minutes more then we'll start the sessions and uh, be with us because uh, this is a very important topic and uh, many people asked me uh, to uh, address this particular topic they like to listen it uh, then i thought okay this is the right person to be addressed this session and uh, our speaker mr balaji uh, uh, is uh, a fisheries professional having experience from uh, private sector and now he is into uh, your university level where he is also heading uh, the extension department of uh, uh, college of fisheries telangana so uh, our speaker is uh, also have a very good knowledge of working in the private sector he worked may, uh, many areas in uh, andhra tamil nadu and all so uh, please be with us we are starting the sessions very shortly dear participants we are going to start our today uh, session so first of all very good evening to everyone and uh, today is our 18th uh, sunday talk is sessions uh, on entrepreneurship development through composite fish culture and uh, integrated farming system and uh, today among us we have uh, uh, mr uh, balaji assistant professor college of fishery science pv narasimha rao telangana veterinary university telangana uh, india so mr balaji uh, is having uh, mba degree along with mfsc degree and also he is now undergoing his phd doctorate program and uh, mr balaji got uh, uh, lots of uh, experience on private sector along with uh, government uh, uh, sectors also and uh, he used to be also my one of my uh, colleague in private sector we work together and uh, today he, he is going to address us uh, about uh, how we can take composite fish culture and integrated farming system model as a entrepreneurship development in the uh, different part of the country we understand that uh, india is basically considered to be a carp culture uh, based culture farming uh, uh, country and where in many uh, a other areas also uh, we are doing uh, fish farming along with integrated farming we are doing lots of fish combination culture also even prawn with fish all that aspects so in that aspects today we we tried in our sunday talk is sessions to address this particular kind of uh, uh, topic which can also give lots of uh, ideas and uh, other aspects of knowledge among different part of the participants so without uh, not much wasting uh, time of uh, uh, i will request our uh, today honorable uh, speaker mr balaji to start with his uh, presentations and this uh, whole session is also recorded in our uh, youtube channel that is aqua doctor solutions if anybody wants to uh, see this whole presentation in coming days they can also go to our youtube channel they can subscribe in and can get every sunday sunday talk is session sunday talk is session is a uh, uh, is a initiation by aqua doctor solution aqua one center kolkata funded by nftp and managed government of india by this kind of particular program we want to boost up the aquaculture and aqua industry people to think the diversification aspects of aqua and fishery sector in coming days not only in the aspects of food and also the aspect of entrepreneurship model so 
Uh, I like to hand over the session to our today's speaker, Mr. Balaji, to go ahead with the session. Sir, please do. Over to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Deptan Obaman. And it is a nice time. Maybe there are few technical issues, uh, but I think all the uh, experienced delegates, they can be very patient to be that. And I am really thank for the awkward act of solutions, which they have given this opportunity to deliver my lecture on composite fish culture and integrated fish farming systems. So like, uh, if my voice is not clear, uh, please you can inform me. I can uh, switch off my videos also, if network is not streaming well. Uh, uh, Mr. Dev, my yeah, voice is it, clear, right? It is okay. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will acknowledge the end of the sessions about the Spectra Aquatic Solutions. And today our topic is like no composite fish forming and IFS system. And now India it is a rooting of blue revolutions it initiated. No Pradhan Matri Mati Sampada Yojana. So many other such programs which are more focused towards the blue revolutions. The main fund and main agenda of this program is the only the criteria which is laying it that the nutrition deficiency can be cope up with the protein rich food of fish. So nowadays, anybody want to take the food, they have to have certain rules and regulations for any one of us. So earlier, whatever it is which is available, we are able to eat it. But now we are not doing that because as science it is increased, innovation it is increased then observation also increase. The my purpose of this management aspect is, now everybody they need that health conscious. So many of young entrepreneurs, many of all the most of the, all kind of age group people, they were into the food rules and regulation point of view. So today my inception of the concept how the world population it is moving ahead and what was the status at present. If you look at this figure and it shows that 7.89 billion of total population of this world as it is India's 1.39 billion. So there are some projections which they have given 9 billion 2045. So it indicates really there is a huge demand for the food. And for that food, there is a risk, resource is very important. So there is a huge gap between the production and the consumption. So where there is a production, there should be a consumption. But in other aspects of farming, except for fisheries, it is something different. So my view on the subject is that, are we really focus the activity which we are doing for the fisheries? So whatever we are doing, whether it is more feasible or it is more viable or it is as per the demand and supply. Even nowadays many innovative sectors are coming out. Innovative systems are also coming out like recirculatory aquaculture system, bioflock technology, some other concepts. So many advanced farming technology, the intent of the technology is that whatever the produced goods it is there, it should be reached to the end user. But whereas the population it is increased and the resources also minimal, then what about the productions? So this production if you look at back into the history, that is something different. And if you see now, it is completely different. So many of them, they are very interested to accept fish as their into their dish. But which fish they have to take? And the gaining of higher acceptance, many people, whether it is tilapia, whether it is pangasius, whether it is rupchan, or whether it is cobs. That is not the major agenda of here. The agenda of the concept is that a red meat and the white meat. So if you go through this average production of total area, 
<coughs> for world wide as for the fdo data 2020-21 data it is so the who has given some projections 2010 2020 when it is demand it is increased as for the population it is saturated stage but now whole country our whole world it is looking towards the fish culture the reason behind that the demand growth driven by the economic growth so if you look at here and if you see the fluctuation of the demand growth driven by economic growth for 2021 it is 2000 million metric ton of production should be there but till today the production is 178.5 million metric ton only so what it says there is a huge demand and a huge gap that gap it should be reached not only by with a one state all of the country all of the world which is putting best effort how to develop this aquaculture and how to develop the fish culture so the, the main focus and main important species of cow are commercially important viable species are here so just i am showing to the pitch but i want to emphasize here cow polyculture system if you look at our country 80 percent country it is depending on only completely cow seed only so 80 percent of country earlier 70 67 percent of the country it is depending on agriculture but apart from this aquaculture and 90 percent seed demand they are technically they are meeting through corn culture only so i what i want to tell you here is the techniques and the farmers uh, hands and experiences little wider need to be changed our farmer has to be adopted with the innovative things so my topic i want to touch in the briefest manner indian major crops all you knows that so katla rohu mrigal and the feeding habits then the niche the area just i will show you the picture of the species and how best it will be more useful for the composite fish farming and how best for the polyculture and how best the species is more useful for mixed cul carp culture so i used here three different terminologies one is composite one is poly and another one is mixed culture so in my presentations i will be dealt with the three concepts these three concepts is tell us the actual the process of the farming aspects dear participants if you have any doubts you can put in chat box at the end we can have the discussion but i believe that many of the delegates and participants today you came for the presentation the reason is you want to earn more money or you want to develop your system with advanced knowledge or you want to get more knowledge about the culture so that is how we need to be progress that is our internal concepts i want to emphasize on this aspects you really were expecting on the formation and advanced learning then anyhow you are going to start with the right investment and with a good feed so if you are doing these two aspects it's very easy to get the income that how you will get that i will show you now so you now we are entering the challenges which is there in fish farming which is there in any other farmings so what are the challenges will be there normally in the farming is number one this is so number two fcr feed conversion ratio so when your fcr it is increased then automatically expenditure also increased so with deceased fish you are given excess of feed fcr it is increased then more expenditure you are incurred then automatically you are getting less it means i can say that it's a less profits however when your fish is attacked or it is forming it is completely attacked with the disease 
and obviously you cannot feel that there is a good growth in the fish so dear participants you want to get all this kind in the accuracy and in the perfect mm. the thing you have to remember you have to select the healthy and good quality seed quota in corn farming in composite fish farming it is a very important of selection of seed if you are failing in selection of seed and whatever the investment which you are done everything you are putting money into the water only tar pulling dam porbe so everything is post best so minimum size hmm of seed it should be 40 to 50 mm 700 আছে 700 gsm and size should be uniform size you want to get as a growth or weight i can tell you that advanced fingerlings like more than 3 inch otherwise 4 to 5 grams in generally when you are taking all the seed in your hands it should be uniform size and it should be attractive colors and many occasions and many seeds forming areas at once which i observed personally they will never bother about the the prime mari activity of how to eradicate the fungal and the bacterial disease so prime therapy of you can use potassium permanganate you can use salt solution also just you can flush over the seed or over the water so before releasing you have to do the bath treatment also so if you done any one activity it may reduce the loss of mortality so many of the farmers they will not bother about this health point of view and simply they will believe on the hatchery and the hatchery people with their experience they said this is a very good seed and this is a one year old seed you can purchase i am given your assurance no we are not there to believe their words they were there for doing a business they were there for selling of seed here participants you have to keep in your mind and which seed you are selecting and you should get the track history of that equal size no shooters and it should be equal market and while you are taking in your hands within a minute all fishes will be flights so that indicates you it was been in good quality see but here you can do one more process also so that process it tells i have given you that first one small size then big size here is high here is low so here i have given a beaker maybe you you you, you might be having some different concept the purpose of this slide is so if i am selecting the small size fish when you are rotating in a beaker it will be rotated as it is in the same directions but when big fishes are there and it will becomes reverse directions you might be have the doubts small size means which side that is so that it is a fingerling oh, sorry it is a fry stage from fingerling again it is changed in the fishery seed selection but in shrimp and other aspects that is different so this indicates the stocking density deciding factor good quality seed it can go as per the standard scientific procedure seed quality is not good just you can increase 20% extra of seed so that's how it tells that the stocking it always make you the good growth of fish so your tank it you are not having good growth then automatically it indicates maybe the issues of disease maybe issues of poor growth maybe issue x y z will be there but if it is a pertain to the stocking density that is it should be before Baba. stocking only you have to check babu so in cob forming in composite forming it's a very very important aspect dear participant i have shown you that nine ten different types of species but as in composite fish forming you will be selected six species cutlar rohu mrigal 
these are indian moths major crops silver crab grass carp and the common crop so these three species are exotic crops the density you have to check as per the species selections if you are selecting three species if you are selecting four species if you are selecting five species if you are selecting six species that is up to you or you can take that advice from the experts based on the tank size and based on the water quality experts will be recommend for you so i can tell you that how many numbers you have to put at the end you can ask the question in andhra pradesh now you are seeing here more than 100 gram species more than 200 gram species they will stock such a big tanks it is a 20 or 30 acre stack and they release the seed into this tank and now there is another mechanism also by pipe they will fit and from the pipe it directly they will release so maybe in other part of the country they are not aware of the seed release the process but such a big tank and huge tank how they are managing and how much days it takes for the harvest so that and all we will discuss our dear participants today we are detailedly discussing about the composition of the species and versus natural food why natural food is very important because when you are doing this composite culture without the na natural food you cannot run the show you cannot do the farming it will give you high incurrence of the investment here you are seeing three species species habits and the area where the species are living it is surface column and the bottom and these are a natural food one is phytoplankton and another one is zooplankton phytoplankton there are different species these are some technical information just for your understanding i am sharing here and if you know this phytoplankton its availability is high or low if phytoplankton availability it is in medium level and it is a saturated level and water color should be in light green color like no banana leaf color when the phytoplankton growth or phytoplankton quantity is higher then you can see that dark green color of water bodies so what it makes it fluctuates and why it's light green color and why it is dark in green color that also we will discuss and one more natural fish food organism that is zooplankton so zooplankton availability of zooplankton it is too high then automatically water color will be in straw colors now you can say that it is light yellow in colors so even in when phytoplankton it is there automatically zooplankton also will be there so when you take your fish for the gut analysis process then you can see that one third of the portion of gut it is there phyto or zoo so which is the highest portion that it tells that is a phytoplankton content is high in the tank phytoplankton zooplankton content is low in that tank that's vice versa so this is the general informations where you can see that and here it is a very important aspect many of the tanks people they use the feed per day 50 kg 100 kg 200 kg but you have to remember yourself when you are feeding it is reaches 20 to 30 kg per acre per day and you have to be very cautious and you have to see that there is a dangerous zones which may happens there is a chance of occurrence of microcystis algae there is a chance of happening of algal bloom there is a chance of the bloom crash plant and crash and you can see that mats of blooms on your fish farm so many other challenges it comes so the my perception of the presentation of this slide is while you are doing your farming if it in your farming per day feed it is reaching 20 to 30 kg per acre then you should be very cautiously you have to observe and you have to follow the fertilization process so this fertilization process why it is important 
so may, you might be getting the knowledge about the pond preparation and dike preparation and all that times they may tell you if you participate in these lectures but here i can tell you that during the management what you have to do during a farming management we have to go with organic manure we have to go with inorganic manure that's up to you organic manures are cow dung chicken manure vermicompost then you can take whatever the dung which is available so any dung you can use as a matter of organic manure so this organic manure it is a based on the tank and based on the size you have to see that my voice is clear dear participants yes then, yes 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 thank you so enhancing of plankton if you followed in the organic by using those dunks also you can enhance the plankton but in organic or inorganic the difference is as i told you that when the fluctuation of plankton is within a couple of days or within a days and within a night its whole water it change into the black color or coffee color and you should be in terrible fear and you should not worry with that because now you are getting knowledge if that is the case it is happening straight away you have to go for inorganic fertilization program so why this inorganic fertilization program which helps within 24 hours it give the results but as in the case of organic it will take by within one week so within week you will see the performance of improvement but within 24 hours you can see this in our now the question is how much you have to use so super phosphate you have to use and dap diammonium phosphate you have to use urea you have to use and zinc you have to use or np that also you have to check yourself so this is the figure which i have given 40 to 50 kg per acre 10 to 15 kg and 4 to 6 kg so same way the process it is different the beast and the water color maybe you can sir you said 40 to 50 kg i have to use super phosphate then what was the stage of your the plankton in that time where you are using whether it is a high level of phytoplankton or low level of phytoplankton if it is a high level of phytoplankton you should not use super phosphates if it is a low level of phytoplankton you have to use super phosphates dap also you have to minimize when high level of phytoplankton it is there you have to use only agriculture line ca co3 that is 20 to 25 kg per acre when you are using that and the your tank it will be in light green color so this is a main important thing and important area where you have to be concentrate more and more why because if your water is good and water color is good then automatically everything is good it is the same case of human being where you are living surrounded area is good atmosphere area it will give good relax good health but you are in the pollution area at the same time it will be for the fish farming also in composite fish farming if you are not focusing in that aspect then it is a big challenge and many of them they are confused with the process and methods so dear participant just you can take one solution for all in the manuring process you want to follow organic or inorganic that you can do it but in normal practice for manuring in andhra now they are doing they use dob dl rice bran and groundnut cake per acre 10 kg jaggery 2 kg yeast or milk powder they will use 200 g per acre or 300 g per acre so all these three they will take in one big container like 100 liter capacity container in that container they will keep three these ingredients they will pour 3 by 4 of water and they will allow for 48 hours for fermentations you have to keep this container at the coolest place saddest place you have to cover with not lid you have to cover with gunny bag only top of the portion of container so this will help to see that the 
fresh phytoplankton, it will show you that. So if you are using this crop dates per month or per every 15 days, it is based on the based on the tank excavation soil capacity. So soil capacity is good, like you no know, clay loamy soil or black soil. If it is some other alkaline soil and it is a very tough challenge to maintain the plankton bloom levels. So this is a formula. It's all of the states they are following, and with this they are reducing their feed cost twelve percent. So in investment, the huge investment where you have to put is only in feed. But we are using this process, and they change as a investor investment is twelve percent. It is a good amount for them. Just how you want to measure this phytoplankton? You can use secadis. You can use plankton net also. So by plankton net, you can take one meter square area. Throughout the four core of area, you have to down you have to take the water, and you have seen in the test tube. In test tube, how much quantity of plankton it is visible for your naked eye? Phone, tumar, is it If it is a one mil. Are two mm. So the capacity how you are dragging that plantar net that's important. With this second is you know that when you are dipping the second is in the pond, visible or invisible. Difference you have to take divided by two. That calculation will be 25 to 40 centimeter. It indicates good resource of plantar. It is there in your tank. These two instruments are very important. If you are doing composite fish pond, you have to keep with you, or you can build yourself also. It is not much costing. Within a hundred rupees, you can do it. So this is the focused concept. If you focus on these two concepts, it will be more helpful and it is a more grateful for your farming. And here I have put one slide. Many people they were confusing, and many other states I am getting many calls. How they have to mix salt and agricultural life, and how they want to use other antibiotics. This is the practice which they are doing it here. You can see that already it is the area salt, and this is agricultural life. So they are mixing it and they are using it. Why they are using? As I told you that if it is your plantar level is high, plantar level it is fresh, and you are getting the batch meal from your tank, you can use per acre. 10 to 15 kg agriculture land and 20 kg per acre salt and it will help to be decomposition of the dead plantar and it will give the fresh environment for the fish farming and it's a very important area feed requirements and here you have to think the three different mechanization practices are there number one extensive semi intensive intensive So many of the states still they are in extensive method only, but in Andhra Pradesh now they are in semi-intensive to intensive two words. In West Bengal also many other area they are following intensive farming only. Look at here this chart. What it indicates? If it is extensive, less stock intensity, and natural food is high. What are the natural food? That is phyto or zoo plantar. And whereas you are not able to give that more commercial complete feeds, and I can say that the investment is not much. But when you are increasing your farming activity, density also slowly increased, natural food reduced, then commercial feed increased, investment also slowly increased. So when you are doing this intensive farming, and everything it is increased. So really, you are doing a fish farming. Are you ready to do that? And you are able to investment, and you are having that good knowledge about the topic. Basic knowledge sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't help, because experts are near to your area. It's easy for them, but experts are away from that area. You cannot, and I cannot come and help you. Here I have given it these two images. Which will tell you that which water is good for the fish farming, and which water is good for the stream farming. Obviously, as I told you earlier, 
this is a good now, water for fish farming this you can use fish farming as well as swim farming also so for your information just i put this slide and water parameters you have a good idea i don't want to emphasize on that because ph is very important it should be 6.7 to 8.6 oxygen level should be more than 4 or not less than uh, 0.8 the rest of the thing is very common that uh, can be dealt with anyone just you can check yourself here you are right about the feed you are right about the questions you are right about the production cost and many occasions what happened here you know and people they were very confused how much feed they have to use and what was the growth about that feed and what about the production cost I have given you few of the experience form up their story or that are one or two minute stories and they, with their experience you can see that that will be in Telugu language but it may help for you also and the ultimate goal of the farmer or entrepreneur is profit and how you will get the profit so that is a core Can't content of yeah. the topics everybody Check they knows the seasonal issues the everybody they are worried about the seasons if it is a rainy seasons if it is a winter season if it is a summer season so that seasons issues already you discussed but the content of the core subject which they have given me compost and fish culture i want to tell you one thing here why cow need nutritionally balanced feed is means carp doesn't have the stomach carp only it is an intestine which is called intestine whatever the food which is taken from the mouth and it should be assimilated in body by rotating in the intestine coil only and it will be released slowly on the spots so here such a cob species this was the impact and which food you have to give this is very important so traditional food also available commercial food also available and the man-made food also available so which is the best food where you want to offer for your farming so it always depends on the food it will be two hours or three hours program and rest of the two rest of the time is natural food organism are very important apart from the artificial food the necessity of artificial food you have to think and you have to see that investment for that also so traditional available feeds you know cotton seed cake you know groundnut cake and you know that the image which i kept here you can use all this traditional feed you can use for the composite fish farming those also but the loss of nutrient and the loss of consumption for the fish the factorial effects which i have given here proper storage if you are not maintaining for the dob if you are not maintaining for the groundnut cake and that is the issue fungal issue will be there poor quality issue will be there anti nutrition capacity when there is a content of nutrition it is goes up with a proper storage capacity then it is a remain only fiber when high fiber it is increased and that food if you are given or if you are not given there is no difference so really you are interested to give the feed for the food of fish and you have to keep interest and keep focused on the storage capacity of feed also so many of the farmers they kept their feed out of the store shed you have to arrange proper or minimum things for the storage of feed why because now you are seeing here the approximate composition of Arctic <coughs> traditional feeds DOB, groundnut cake, cotton seed cake and sunflower now traditionally people they are using for the back feeding method this is the compositions they will go with the back feeding they will go feeding from 6 to 7 am before sunrise and they will observe the fish feed bags it will consume within 3 to 5 hours and now they are just worried about 2 to 3 hours but 2 to 3 hours it may adjustable for Andhra but for other part of states it may not so that you have to check yourself and how best you can be see that the feeding acceptability of your fish in composite fish farming back feeding method if you are given it should be within 3 hours it should be get completed if it is not completed within 3 hours you have to reduce the feed 
Why? Because unnecessarily if I put the more feed and automatically wastage will be dumped into the bottom and bottom it get collapsed. When bottom it get collapsed, there is a chance of toxic will be released. And where I have shown the traditional feed, where I want to think the one more feed which is there. But here I have given the two fruits. So both are fruits only. But if you observe, the benefits of the fruit is different. As the case, you can see that two types of feeds are there. So those food, how it is helped, that is the thing you have to keep. So this is a key formula for the successful farming is without doubt, now you will select the seed because I already told you that. And you know that traditional feed, that's a good feed only. And how you have to use and which method you have to follow, that also you know. You are doing the best management practices also. Because certain things we learn how to manage the planter. But here you can see that there is no benefit. They are waiting to get the profit. Main reason for that now. If you see the feed, instead of good feed, if you give the complete feed, it could be better. So what is that complete feed? And how you have to do that? And how you have to get the profits? Dear participant, you can see here, two energies are there. So that two energies, it will tell you that the growth range of your fish. It's digestible energy and digestible protein energy. So digestible energy high or low, what was the situation? If it is high of digestible energy, fat fish will be dead, feed intake is reduced, FCR is poor, nobody will try to purchase that fish. Because acceptance of fish purchase is also very important. See, in that sense, complete feed, it has to give balanced amino acid, special additives and vitamins and minerals and easily digestible food. As I said that is fish is interested in coil feed only. So simply fish has to take food and it has to get assimilated within two to five hours. Is it possible? by using it the complete feed only. So those complete feeds, here you can see, floating feeds are there commercially available, sinking feed also there. You want to use 100% floating or sinking, that you can use. No, you want to go compositions, that you can do. You want to mix all feed, you have to fill the bag, that also you can go. I have shown you that it is a completely they are using commercial feed, they are mixing with this feed and they are mixing with the DOB, they are mixing with GNC, they are packing in bag, after packing in bag, they are going for bag feeding process. And what is the procedure they have to follow for the feeding program? We have to follow this program. DORB 80%, grounded cake 10% and CST, cotton seed cake 2% and commercial feed 8% that is totally 100%. So now it is a complete feed for composite fish form. So with this, now you get to know that this is the feeding program for the composite fish form. And this is the process where they are following for the knotting of bag feeding methods. So all the bags, bottom of the bags, there is a punches will be there. That image I also show you. And now we can see that the feeding methods. One is bag feeding method. Another one is broadcasting method. So it is traditional feeding broadcasting and it is commercial feed broadcasting of floating feed. So this is the process. And after feeding, they have to go and survey up the feed bags. Morning they came, then tomorrow morning again they will take this bag and they will go with the fresh bag. They have to dry, they have to wash and they have to dry for 24 hours. You are, you are seeing that small holes are there. So through this hole, fish will take the feed after it get digested. 
so with this you came to know that that is a composite fish forming composite fish forming it tells you that indian major carp and exotic carps if you are using in your farming that will be composite fish forming the ratio of stocking density rohu you have to put if it is imc high number in exotic carps you have to put then you have to use silver carp is high number you have to fix two figures then you have to see that the simple logic that i will tell you in the question and the sensor which farming it is i want to get to know from the participants uh, maybe they were listening or not i don't know can anyone can anyone answer this which farming it is whether it is composite or polyculture or what composite yeah okay uh, right uh, maybe you are listening with the attention mode or uh, your phone is somewhere or you are somewhere uh, i don't know so our ceo maybe is observing every one of you but i can tell you uh, dear participants what we discussed in the so far that's a composite fish forming and this is a forming of mixed forming mixed forming is a popular in the andhra because how it is popular means uh, maybe my video is in black cuz just no power gun here uh, actually i want to ask one thing um, if it is mixed farming but uh, here uh, that uh, pakku fish is there na so yeah it can eat also the seed of uh, carps if the size is yeah if the size is smaller than the mouth size of uh, pakku uh, can you can you can you get, come back once again uh, you said rupchan it is eat something i couldn't yeah. get yeah uh, here pakku fish is here na so uh, in this uh, farming uh, can pakku fish uh, eat uh, this uh, carp seeds yeah yeah so this is this is yeah okay i i will clear your doubt and this is a practice where they are doing in andhra pradesh and i and uh, uh, mr devtanu we took the challenge of uh, how to develop this process and in andhra we have took this challenge and we have made it profit that success story also now you will see that i am having one video that i will show you it is a mixed farming and this also i will tell you that in the success story after that i will tell you to get a successful okay. fish crop just you have to follow this is the procedure now in other places they are following it stocking species cutler rohu regal stocking size 250 to 500 g stocking density 1800 to 2000 number or water depth 6 to 7 feet so poultry manure gnc dob super as we discussed that same feeding bags per acre 8 to 10 bags you have to keep and supplementary feed they are raising dob gnc and commercial feed pellets also they are raising and within 5 to 6 months they are harvesting this crop and they were doing three crops sometimes two crops how innovatively they are doing you know somebody are taking the tanks on lease based today lease cost per acre is 1 lakh some other area it is a 60000 and 80000 it's a high demand it is increased in the farming of area so yeah here you are seeing that one success story of farmer and he is the farmer he is from uh, nellur he is having how many species in one tank just you can listen this video okay telugu varu mundu satyam ali program ikka nenu 80 na rakra chestunanu idi avara rakra alukuntadi टोटल फार्मिंग and he harvested in middle harvest also ee 20th tarikh ki aarnella indi aarnella ichi nenu 5 nella 20 rojuliki harvest chesanu middle harvest chesanu dantlo vachi telugu varu mannu pratyekkulu ali program ah no he said middle harvest also i done ee 20th tarikh ki aarnella indi aarnella ichi nenu 5 nella 20 rojuliki 
హార్వెస్ట్ చేశాను మిల్ హార్వెస్ట్ చేశాను దాంట్లో వచ్చి కేజీ నాలుగు వందల లెక్కన రూచన్ ఆరు వందల ఎనభై గ్రాముల లెక్క నేను పెట్టాను కొంత కొంత మెటీరియల్ తీయడం జరిగింది స్టార్టింగ్ లో తౌడు చెన్నై చక్కేసి ఇచ్చాను పిల్లలకి ఒక ఫిఫ్టీన్ డేస్ దాని తర్వాత వచ్చేసి ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ చిన్న పిల్లలు తీసి వాడాను ఒక మూడు నాలుగు నెలల వరకు నేను స్పార్క్ ఫీడ్ వాడాను తర్వాత పర్వాలేదు కార్గిల్ ఫీడ్ వేసాను దాంట్లో కూడా ఇంకా కొంచెం పర్వాలేదు అనిపిస్తుంది ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ పర్సెంట్ వేసాను కానీ గ్రోత్ గురించి ఆలోచిస్తే హై డెన్సిటీ వల్ల తగ్గిందో లేదా అనేది కానీ పర్వాలేదు గ్రోత్ కూడా బాగానే వచ్చింది ఇప్పటికి దీన్ని అందరూ నాలుగు వేలు వేయాల నాలుగు వేలు వేయాల మూడు వేయాల అన్నారు Yeah, this is the success story of these farmers. Many of you may got the point what he said. Within five months, he went for the partial harvest and he got good growth, even though high density. Even though high density is mentioned. Rupchand, he was strong per acre more than 4,000. It should be 2,500 only. But Pangash, Bacha, that's a cutla. So this is the success story of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, what's the story? I will show you. He is a farmer. ఫార్మింగ్ <laughs> పర్ ఎకర్ త్రీ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ రూప్చర్ పంగస్ అండ్ ద కార్ప్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ సక్సెస్ స్టోరీ యూ కెన్ సీ హౌ దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ అండ్ వాట్ థింగ్స్ దే ఆర్ ఫాలోయింగ్ సో ఫర్ ఆల్ ద సొల్యూషన్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ఫేసింగ్ ఎనీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇఫ్ యూర్ పర్చేస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆఫ్ కమర్షియల్ ఫీడ్స్ ఆర్ ట్రెడిషనల్ ఫీడ్స్ ఫీడింగ్ ఈస్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫర్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూ థింక్ సో యూ కెన్ టేక్ దిస్ వన్ సొల్యూషన్స్ ఫర్ ఆల్ for all the species for any species now commercial feed is available but the way how you are going to manage fcr it depends on the advice of the experts it is a depend on advice of the others that you have to keep in yourself and you have to check yourself okay so with this uh, today we will close now we can check integrated fish farming i will not take much time to complete but uh, Uh, with a short time i will complete why i kept this slide you know swart analysis swart analysis is very important every day every day expenses are increased every day phone recharge every day net recharge tv recharge every festival every day is a festival daily expenses are increases but income generates decreases but the way the farmer has to change themselves they have to think they said and now we are suggesting them to go for the integrated farming along with the fish farming along with agriculture along with poultry dairy whatever you are there it should be there of all components that all component it help to you to minimize your expenses one question for every one of you what do you do when you need fish i know that many people can say that who will purchase while going for the market but what i want to tell you now wherever you are doing the farming of fish are you able to supply for the whole village for the fish are you able to supply for the district or mandal or taluk if not and there is a huge demand what if you can try this fish farming as an integrated fish farming so if you try and it will be more helpful why because china it tried in 2000 years ago and india it had been practice of integrated fish farming 1500 years ago so what was missing here is the practice which is transferred from china to japan it's took in the effective manner but till in russia and since 1850 they are doing their best then what about this india so india it is in still lagging behind with the integrated farming you have to check yourself 
you have to see that the which is a least or which is a productive and which is a resourceful activity where you have to do this integrated fish farm this integrated if you are doing well and it will help you for manuring process it will help you to recycling of the product and it will help to generate the extra income and it will help to give the more number of employment opportunity for others and it helps to give you that the rich enterprise of your activity just i have given this few titles fishcom agriculture system fishcom <coughs> animal system fishcom padiculture fishcom water chestnut papaya mulberry mushroom fishcom dairy pig rabbit poultry duck goat whatever you want to do but how you want to do that is important all the species you have seen here and this the padicum fish farming it's a popular in kulna bangladesh also it's popular in kerala it's a popularly they are doing it telangana in kvk system also now in telangana it is initiated then why don't you can try for in other states also so everybody knows cattle pig piggery farming so piggery along with the fish so this practice if you do yourself it will give the fetching of amount as well as horticulture crops how simply they eradicated the structure just you can see without wasting a land on the dike itself within one meter they arrange and happily they are getting that output of this horticulture fruits vegetables whatever you want you can and yes sir poultry yeah hello hello uh, my voice is clear hello hello yes okay so this is the one example in integrated farming it is developed by one of the kvk just you can see so it's a simple technology it will give you more ideas they are having banana trees along with the dike it's only half acre or 10 gunta tank it is this culture tank and what are the benefits is having one is banana then poultry then fish then fruits vegetables many benefits are there if you keep think on so you will get many many new innovative good ideas So this is the procedure about that uh, model. This I want to show that in rural area many are doing this backyard poultry system. It's a very popular poultry system backyard. If you do this also, it will bear benefits for you. If you keep it to twenty birds, twenty birds within twenty one weeks, huge profit. That's how you can take meat. you can take here you can sell based on the price if you want goat sheep sheep or sheep rearing then seed fish seed rearing so one of the farmer he is a brahmachari in telangana so what the activity is by doing by him only uh, as a kvk we took a challenge when i walking at the kvk and within a 2 acres land within a 2 acres land and he is getting 13 lakhs rupees of profit just imagine within 2 acres of land he is getting 13 lakh rupees he is having dairy he is having poultry poultry it is a backyard and it is commercial also fish silage is making fodder the expenditure income and the profit so integrated farming it will give you that more fetching and this farmer he went to new delhi his wife she backed the award of that no uh, in delhi a good mahila award she got it so many activities are there to show you but it is a time to get for the final conclusions because as the experts they have given me time for one hour i have to stick for the time uh, in brief i want to tell you that how this is get attacks it's a in brief information the main moto and main major impact is the poor water quality so if water quality get degraded 
automatically fish get stress if it is get stress disease health reduced automatically there is a death of fish so once fish is dead then only the farmer get awareness so swells so something is happened for my tank until unless you will not observe the your tank such a care but i request all the participants every day you have to go with your fish farm every day you have to go with irrigated farming you have to check yourself you have to keep your mind for one or two hours and you see that the change is what it's happening the first and foremost change you have to see poor water quality or good water quality which is the water quality and you have to check water parameter within week or within 15 days or every month once that you have to keep in your mind the interval of change checking a parameter is very very important if you didn't focus on that these are the many issues that comes then you will be in a lot of troubles and nobody is there with you to help you and you should be in troubles and you should be in loss also so whatever the amount which you put in the water you should not be lost so i request all the participants you take good support from aqua doctor solutions and they were there here to help you all the team work which they are doing for the best of the entrepreneurs best of the farmer and best of the fish farmer fisher man so the such other young entrepreneur also they are working very well <coughs> so whatever the efforts they are putting their best ami ami to make this hatte hatte top every sunday really it is a good move and good moment and i appreciate the efforts of uh, mr adeptan barban and director and ceo of aquadactor solutions really it is a wonderful platform for the country wide our globe wide also they can be joined for this program and it helps to many of in other entrepreneurs it is my contact number it's laying at here if you need any doubts if you need any support you can try to approach me or contact me <coughs> i'm here to help you all so this is the first just i want to show which i got uh, best employee awards young research award young action scientist award and good speaker awards so this is about my lecture of today composite fish farming and integrated fish farming system and this is the time for question and answer you can ask uh first of all uh thank you so much bala for your uh, very uh, you know effective presentation we call effective presentation uh, such a presentation which uh, gives lots of inputs with farmers innovations which you have uh, expressed here and first of all thank you so much for that insightful uh, topic with lots of informations and i hope the 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 participants who have participants from different parts of the country and also outside the country will also get benefited you have touched all the aspects and we believe in one presentation we can't cover fisheries and uh, aquaculture which is a very vast area but the idea perspective of the composite fish culture uh, with say monoculture and also the ifs system integrated farming system how to maximize the production with some other resources which is getting wasted in the system converted into be beneficial way so thank you so much for your uh, very thoughtful very informative and also very nice presentations and now we'll take some questions from the audience side so if anybody want to ask any questions to mr balaji uh, you can unmute yourself and ask the questions related to the presentation which are not correlated and related to the presentation that also can be addressed but not in this platform you can drop your questions in the chat box we'll be connecting with mr balaji to address out that such questions in coming days so uh, dear participants you please use this platform and uh, if you want to ask any questions regarding the topic please ask to mr balaji thank you thank you so much sir uh, for nice uh, presentation uh, myself kobin medi uh, i am from assam from kvk uh, dimahasao i am uh, recently joined as uh, subject matter specialist here sir uh, i have one question sir 
uh, that is relevant to this uh, today's uh, topic sir sir may i audible yes yeah you are audible you can ask uh, sir actually i want to know that uh, sir that uh, in that mixed farming you uh, explained that uh, sir i want to yeah. know the uh, stocking ratio and stocking size and stocking timing sir for that three species okay right so three species uh, katla rohu mrigal that you need no no sir actually uh, you talked about that three species katla uh, paku and uh, the okay. pangar yes yes so now in a in success story the farmer is said rupchan pangas katla yes sir so rupchan now as per the way which we have discussed and we have given the solution for the farmer 2000 per acre and pangas we have given per them 2000 but in cars he can go 100000 to 1500 so all together no. our intention is all together our intention is 5000 per acre it should be the stocking density for one acre but one farmer he said per acre i can i put 3500 one farmer is at 4000 it is a beyond that exercise what expert has we did but even though he got good growth again yes. one farmer is at maybe because of high stocking density uh, i got only 800 gram size but as a sms of kvk you should keep in your mind if it is a three species farming katla it is a surface feeder obviously you knows rohit yes. is a column feeder you knows Yes. But as the case in roof chain, it is a surface feeder. Exactly. Roof chain, it is a surface feeder, and you know fungus also, it is a surface feeder. There is no doubt again. And if it is a surface feeder, when they are going for the back feeding, there is a big challenge. So this discussion again came from the Devtano, and we had that we do we do not recommend for the back feeding when they are doing this three farming. So we went with the commercial feed of floating feed only. We launched the program with the floating feed. and many of the farmer they got good yield and good benefit out of that also so as a sms of kvk you should keep in your mind when you are recommending this practice you should not tell them go for the back feeding there is a big challenges will be there you can yes, uh, try to correct it on phone that i will tell you but the uh, way of density you have to keep in your mind with this three figures and one more thing you have to keep as a scientist always it will game change manner based on the water quality and based and land area where do I, where you are doing the aquaculture and for the it is a, it is not suitable area for alkanite soil but as the case you are recommending for the farming of aquaculture there you should not use this much of stocking then that is again the big cost and the big challenge and you should not blame the again experts also if you are not yes. having good knowledge about experience you can take suggestions we are here to help you all the experts and we are here to give you the many inputs many insights for doing your farming and i hope kiran medhi uh, kabin medhi it's clear yes. what are your doubts yes yeah. sir sir uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe to just to be adding the bala point uh, uh, to for kavin is that you are belong to northeast in northeast we have a very approachable uh, concept is like putting more seeds many varieties more growth that is not going to be happened this is fast second point more importantly in bala uh, presentation and pharma success story feed plays major role we need to be understand not the number of fish important is number of times feeding procedures with maintaining the good quality protein percentage and third not the least which is very important is water quality management in northeast most of the time if we, as you are working in uh, Uh, KVK will understand if you prescribe them put the lime in 45 days they will give the lime in 65 days okay but they want to have good growth they want to have many varieties of fish species so we need to understand reason specific customer oriented market specific species combination for composite fish culture in any particular reason then this particular farming model is going to be profitable we take the lesson from andhra 
understand their stocking density feeding management but we have to design in our region specific model also thank thank you so much sir for your uh, very informative information sir since here pangas and paku also sir uh, demand is high very, uh, very high demand sir even sir uh, for the first year uh, we are surveying the market also and recently we have completed one on farm testing on amur common curve here sir mm. and uh, in, uh, with other five species mm. sir we got in silver cup sir fetch 350 rupees it uh, it has gone beyond sir uh, 400 rupees per kg here since demand is very high sir but you, you, you have to get here sir you silver cup that's why I told you, Northeast is a market of region specific uh, species combination and cultivations. Maybe in your KVK area, silver cup price is higher. But in my area in Agartala and Tripura, I will not get such kind of price. So that's why as a KVK, as a research institute, as a frontline research uh, premier uh, for the farmers oriented research should come up from your outcome on region specific. That's what in Balaji also in his presentation, in my talk also, that we should come up with region specific species combination model of particular zone to zone. Then our success model of aquaculture will be successful. Sir, uh, uh, one uh, request to uh, you, sir, uh, our Equadoptor solution. Uh, Dr. Sir, I have a kind request to you have a presentation on uh, hill specific fish farming. Okay. Okay. Maybe I will, I will share you. I will share you. I do have some species combination for exclusive for Northeast. So I will share with you. You can go ahead with your research. I'm a farmer, so I, I don't have research outputs, but my uh, outputs can be validated by the scientists like you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Thank Balaji, you. sir. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Kevin Medhi. Anytime you can be approached. So we are having good uh, experience in KVK. Don't worry, we'll help you be a good scientist in that area. I want to ask you a question. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank you for such a nice presentation. I am uh, right now working as assistant research officer at Colony. Uh, the question was asked. Uh, that uh, with Paku, if you release the other seeds, then since uh, Paku will uh, engulf uh, the, eat the other uh, species. So, uh, if the uh, if the feed, if we increase the percentage of feeds, generally uh, two to three percent feed is applied. The biomass is uh, applied in the pond. So, if we increase the percentage of feed. So uh, then uh, we can, uh, Paku will not uh, uh, eat up the other IMC species. Uh, and I also want to add that uh, if we release IMC seed earlier and then release Paku after one or two months after the, uh, releasing the IMC seeds, then uh, the IMC seeds will grow and uh, the size of Paku, since it will be small, it will won't be able to eat up the seeds of IMC. Uh, okay. Maybe uh, Bala, you want to address? Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah. Yes, yes. Please. I can address. Uh, <coughs> battery is getting down. So just uh, you can take one minute. Within one minute, I will. Fine. Like Shall maybe I'll just Shall share one to... farmer experience in Bengal. Uh, they did uh, four species combination in composite. There was uh, Rohu, there was uh, Pangasius, there was Paku, and also there was having a percentage of Muriga. So these four uh, species got three different kind of niches of the layer. But in Paku, size of stocking was 50 to 70 gram. Pangasius stocking size was 100 gram. Rohu size was 250 to 300 gram and Brigal was 50 to 100 gram range. In that structure of seed stocking, he is able to harvest the fish within six months on average 800 to 1 kilo for this four fish species combination. 
what i mean to say in this uh, line of farmer experience those fish species are very aggressive voracious feeder and they take the more dominancy over the niches we can try to put their sizes maybe sm uh, uh, smaller compared to other compatible species of the grower then i'm saying yeah then the whole the system initial size may be small the initial size may be small yes. so if i release for after two months yes then the algae will grow yes so the size will be uh, higher than that of papu yes. that is what yes. i'm trying yes. to say. yes and feed also and feed also if there is adequate feed in the uh pond so paku will not eat up the other seeds yes indeed sir indeed indeed uh, with that uh, with that uh, kumar sir kumar sir you have given a nice question that is already we have seen that experience of hunting of fish of roopchand that's a success story what devtanu sir said exactly you have to maintain the feeding program we designed one feeding program i think uh, that is with uh, aqua adapt solutions if not i can give you that so with the one feed we designed that's a prince feed and for that we design one feeding program and we reduce the hunting nature predatory nature also we reduce so it is practically proved farmer also happy with that and as the observation you have to keep imc first then roopchand that's a calm okay any questions others and we also have uh, in our today session um, uh, dr azad sir from kuwait university and also we have uh, bijan sir also uh, uh, the uh, uh, in the forum so i also like to uh, request azad sir and bijan sir they are also quite uh, highly uh, knowledgeable on this particular aspects and they are also working different kind of different species not only our indian species they are also working on mediterranean region species also and bijan uh, sir also have lots of knowledge of tamil nadu and andhra and sir also now heading the pmsy uh, department in uh, telangana so sir and also can put the inputs here because i believe uh, compatibility of any one or compatibility of species compatibility of even human nature depends on the way we make them grow in the same system same environment with taking everyone with the same way of actions so maybe uh, sir sir also there they can also high, uh, enlighten us with their knowledge sir hello sir yes sir yeah, hello sir uh, hello balaji bag 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 achindi presentation no <laughs> uh, it's a uh, it, it's uh, jingran saab's uh, dream composite fish culture you know the <laughs> three species and then six species and you know they did such a wonderful job two two things the hypophysization and the composite fish culture two are the you know year marks of uh, those 70s and 80s yeah. uh, you said you said you uh, a lot of composite fish culture is going on in uh, andhra and even west bengal and all so what what normally is the problem faced by the farmers uh, what uh, you know like like diseases or uh, you know, general problems what you know collectively aqua doctors and you know people like you and all who are working in the field will be able to address uh, the problems of the farmers what generally you find it uh sir major okay. issues is that uh, species combination farmer design but the sizes that uh, they mixed up with many different way yeah. this is fast second mm. problem is the feeding management they maybe uh, they put maybe some smaller baby fish some bigger fish so they always take the low protein percentage the cheap protein source or maybe the feed so sometimes there is a feeding competition there is a difference in the growth and the overstocking density also is there there is no multiple stocking uh, density or maybe harvesting procedures also they follow up another major problem is that the water quality management because seed stocking may be done at the same time or which needs to be done maybe period of a time but they 
do basically at a time they are put the stock in they are also looking for same type of growth also a uh, end of the culture period time so these are the four five major issues and major issues is right species right species density and the right feeding management these are the three major key problem the farmers is facing during this composite fish culture throughout in the eastern and even the northern part of india because sometimes we give priority maybe one species but we put maybe six to seven species but those say six to seven species what growth we can expect that calculation we never calculate mm -hmm. yeah devtanu i want to add something sir yes yes sir please please devtanu the the problem that is faced in the rural belt is different from the problem that is faced in the urban belt okay in the urban belt also there are many ponds yes there are many ponds and uh, they are being filled up for uh, reasons uh, which i cannot uh, now uh, disclose in now but uh, it is uh, very true that the pr problems that is faced in the municipality area that is uh, in the urban area is never addressed in uh, no uh, webinar or even in the meetings that we attend it is always with the problems in the rural belt the ponds that are in the rural belt the problems that are faced by the fishermen there that is addressed but in the urban belt also there are many ponds and urban un unemployment is a huge it is a very important factor nowadays so if this uh, problem can be ad addressed i think it will be very important it is very important to address this problem also sir uh, our uh, uh, coming uh, two more lectures during durga puja time we are also coming up with something on urban aqua farming so we are also inviting someone who can exclusively address some social impacts on fisheries and also fisheries is facing some social impacts on their growth so this both topics somebody is also is there on pipeline will be addressing in coming days i hope your the, the questions what you were asked sir is very right because uh, urban uh, system composite fish culture or fish culture aquaculture sector growth rate is getting hindrance not only this species things there are some other human made interventions also that need to be also coming up in coming days that's also very true sir i hope in coming sessions we are also able to address this uh any more questions uh, i just i wanted to know from balaji whether uh, what is the parasite um, attack uh, incidents in, uh, in in andhra and the area parasites uh, it seems in, in the carp uh, this one argillus is a major problem do you find yeah. that yes uh, i can i can tell you that uh, in view of disease and the management two aspects are now it is worrying for the farmer so the basic is argillus it is forever ever so argillus there is no till now there is no medicine and even farmers are using more than the resistance of argillus species mm -hmm. so i have many times we have conducted programs many awareness given but till they are not listen our words and second one they use high level of antibiotics for any disease if mortality it goes whatever antibiotic they know they will use without asking experts they always depends on the para technical staff so those para technical staff they feels they are the doctors and directly they yeah. said that if it is a swan so you should use this endoplaxin if the sulfur reactive methaxone use ciprofloxacin but any antibiotic can resist and can reduce the disease attack and farmer he needs he should not get any mortality once the mortality is reduced he feel himself this antibiotic is working very good but as research they said you have to use only commercial antibiotic but they will use only raw antibiotic they will not buy bother about the commercial antibiotic so this is a two challenge as per the farming aspect sir disease they don't know what is it comes if mortality comes they will have, depends on the company para technical staff that they will take advice but uh, still it is a more important area of issue is number 1 argillus number 2 red disease number 3 thermal stratification thermal stroke 
so these three are main important aspects still now uh, nobody has finding that good cause for that few companies they are doing best as me and them we have done our best uh, beat the heat with some kind of food and some kind of uh, innovative we had it medication feed also we brought for argulus uh, many people are not till in the follow of that and second one uh, for in farming apart from that marketing it is a big challenge for them so now they are getting 80 rupees per cage at the farm gate price but in market it is a 150 rupees per cage so there is a huge gap between uh, farmer to individual so that they are not able to cooperate but government is coming up with proposals maybe within 2 years we can see the significant difference it will be controlled by the whole government only because uh, right questions can ask our simon vijay kumar sir uh, he is there only in vijayawada he will give us some other inputs which will help us simon vijay sir hello maybe sir is somewhere yeah. great sir ajay sir anything you, you want uh, 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 just now i wanted to listen to vijay you know he was is uh, now joined as commissioner i think right and now he is head of for that state uh, pradhan mantri nodal officer sir pms nodal officer for telangana oh, okay, 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 okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah no, just yeah, i wanted to listen to him and also uh, like you know the, the question of uh, uh, pseudo pseudo specialist or what whatever you call you know they they simply you know, blow, just recommend something you know, without without any proper background and things like that. that is going to spoil the whole environment like you know they lose the farmers will lose the uh, interest or lose faith on uh, uh, aqua <laughs> that is that is that will create a lot of problems you know yeah those yeah. <laughs> jobs and degrees and all you know i i know uh, we uh, in while i was in siba we used to visit farms in uh, Uh, 94, 95, 96, and those times, we used to visit farms. Uh, a lot of them, you know, like 10th, 12th pass, they do some kind of uh, maybe some course, and then join uh, a group of uh, farmers as consultants, and they keep on furiously. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, the simp uh, uh, monodon aquaculture. Sir. Uh, they recommended jaggery to to be added into this. Ajay uh, sir, looking for you for, sir. For uh, yeah, uh, managing the wet spot disease. Okay, take it, take it, take it. Okay. Uh, uh, I remember that okay. one Chik. time during Chik. Deepavali, there was no jaggery available in the market because all the jaggery was put into the pond. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was hilarious thing. You know, they, uh, that is how we have to manage these guys and. Uh, i was talking to uh, the coastal agriculture authority and uh, the people in uh, rajiv gandhi center and all and that is vijay in the commercial uh, in the, uh, the commissioner level probably they will be able to uh, you know regulate these type of uh, spurious practitioners uh, uh, even cia is supposed to have uh, kind of registration and uh, you know the uh, certify the degree and give us certificate for our practice something like that so it's a very important uh, aspect i think uh, aqua doctors and all we should be able to sir uh, uh, your your question is right and your uh, addressing also right but the policy maker should make the policy for the right people right time right actions that's with with policy makers because uh, in indian system we always face we have many things we have many things written you have many things to be implement but the things take Hundred years to be implement. So the the questions what you have uh, addressed, it maybe can done within a month to e- European Union, but to run to India will take hundred years. So we have to wait and see, unless and until our uh, sectors should not get devastating effect on productions, on employment, on income, and also the sourcing. So before it comes the devastating effect, I hope the policy makers. make their right policy so that right people should write right medicine or the like the human medicine now is happening in india generic name they can't write the particular company product so they, those kind of things should also come up in aqua and vet industry also in coming days and we hope for the best because uh, i hope 
my coming days more into people more people like bala experts like you and lots of people should come forward and address in the right platform so that people should listen what is happening and when we see problems we always realize the solutions and unless until we see the problems we will not realize the solutions i can sir uh, say that now at the moment because i am also the, not the right person yeah. to address and uh, uh, i i hope uh, sir <laughs> that's no i i remember you know the uh, in in a family you have small kids you know some kids you are you are uh, doing something and you are engaged in some you know this some he comes once in a while he pulls your shirt he wants something you know every time you you and if he tell keep quiet keep quiet he will not keep quiet he will keep on pulling your shirt this is the attitude we should follow you know we should keep on pulling the Uh, shares of the, uh, yes. the government people, you know, yes. the people in the in the chair. Then only they will listen. You know, uh, they, five times they may ignore, and six times they say, "Okay, Baba, what what is your problem?" They will listen. <laughs> true, true. I so that's why, that. sir, uh, <laughs> because this uh, Sunday talk is uh, is also a one of my, I should say, brainchild. I want to bring more people in this forum. more people should listen the problems not only the money making process they also should understand what we are also facing the problem as a professional because many professional also having such kind of issues sometimes they keep quiet okay tk there is no way to be address keep quiet but we can make the forum in coming days once we are jointly together comes together and make a better future for everyone that's what we should think and uh, i think uh, bijen sir got some issues with networking connection just now he called me up so he excuse me so i i hope in coming of one of my sunday talkies i am going to add, uh, take bijen sir as a speaker so that he cannot run away also next time to be addressing out uh, miss out this time no uh, uh, that you know i i request those who are joining today you know uh, and in the beginning i saw there were about 20 30 yeah more than 30 and, people was there yes yeah uh, and uh, slowly you know uh, it's like uh, it's like river joining uh, <laughs> this one there uh, a dry dry period and finally there will be no water into the sea <laughs> so that should not happen so those who are joining probably you should they should you know like uh, forwarding whatsapp uh, messages unnecessary forward so many forward you should forward these type of you know uh, topics where discussions are taken place so you, you you spend some half an hour uh, in front of uh, your mobile or uh, laptop yes. or desktop so you need to do thing i think at least at least the fisheries people who are in the field they should be able to join one hour is nothing uh, great They yes sir uh, uh, now i am thinking uh, now i am thinking maybe from uh, coming uh, uh, sessions will not make in um, uh, uh, google meet will make it directly facebook live so facebook live we can connect more people and uh, we are also coming up with another software based things so we will be directly taking all the people to facebook and we will be doing all the groups also direct live program so we can connect more than more 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 people that's what is uh, i also got some feedbacks yeah. so uh, because i am also not a it guy so once we are working on this process we are also learning so but our objective is the message the good message of good aquaculture practice should reach a uh, ground level so that everybody should get benefited the experts opinion the opinions of uh, uh, the audience participants and also the opinions of experts uh, or the speakers also who are trying to address this particular session i think uh, it was a very good session it was also very good uh, uh, discussion uh, sessions also thank you azad sir for every time participating and guiding us and uh, uh, your knowledge i believe uh, will getting disseminate to many young uh, people like us bala and all we are also like same batch mates so we hope in coming days we are also doing lots of such kind of activities so that we can bring more people new topic new energy new associations and new forum for safeguard this aquaculture sector with best management practice in coming days thanks once again to all every participant who have participants before 
and also I like to convey my best regards to our today's speaker Balaji for such a beautiful presentations. You have expressed farmers' innovations with scientific knowledge, scientific thoughts, and also the not only the knowledge that knowledge also can be predict in other farmers' field. That model also you have explained. You are a good uh, speaker. That's uh, no doubt because your presentation shows every time you have addressed the participants, participants that particular word, it shows that you are attentive for your actions and you are also looking for your presentation also should be effectively effect on other participants as well. So thanks once again to Balaji for such a wonderful presentation and hope in coming days also you'll be doing such kind of many other topics also covering and also giving a platform to other people also to get knowledge. And thanks once again to Dr. Azad sir also for your uh, energy and support and also insightful discussion in this forum. And all the participants who have a participant from sir, different parts of the country question, also. Sir. I like to address out. that uh, uh, your active participation we need always because once you are present in the forum, we also Hello. get lots of input to be do lots of such, such kind of activities in coming days. Thanks once again to everyone and uh, wish you. That's only there is somebody. Hello. That's yes. There is somebody yes, Mr. Happening. Pradhan. Yes. Sir, uh, good evening, sir. Sir, you have given the nice presentation. Sir, I have some more doubts. Sir, can I ask? Sir? Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Sir, you have uh, given a presentation on composite fish farming and somehow you have explained the mist farming. So, what is the basic difference between these two, composite fish farming and mist farming, according to you, sir? Okay. Bala, please. <coughs> what, what, uh, what question you ask? What is the difference between mixed, mixed farming model and the composite fish farming model? Yes, yes. I, I, I said that concept uh, between my presentations, maybe just you grasp that uh, word. So with the six species, uh, okay, no issue. So with the six species we are doing, you know, Indian major carp and exotic cow. So you are playing game, you are doing farming with the six species. It is nothing but composite fish farming. Don't follow the fund of book. All of practice periods. Then it is a polyculture. You are doing farming with the Indian major carp or exotic carp. Along with that, you have to put finfish and shellfish. Yes, if you are putting shellfish, shrimp, vanamai, that is polyculture. So if you want to go for mixture farming, you can use three different varieties or two different varieties. One is carp, another one is fungus, another one is rupchal. It is mixture farming. It's clear? Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, one more. Uh, can I can I add here? Okay, sir. Sir, sir, please. Can I add here? Uh, uh, no, no. Maybe my voice is may not be because my data it is uh, ninety percent exhaust. Yeah. If my voice is clear, then my yes, voice is yes, clear. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, please. Azad, sir. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you can ask. Then you can ask the question. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the the uh, the concept of composite fish culture came with uh, you know the utilization of different niches of you know one particular yes. group of fishes like those days it was uh, Indian major carps and the exotic carps later were added now using different niches and most of them are you know the, the, the composite of that is depending on different uh, uh, you know, niche uh, in the true yes uh, ecosystem yes. Like bottom feeder and feeder marginal and those who feed on the plant uh, things like that yes Shubham, you understand mixed, the uh, polyculture point? Is culture of many, many. Uh, yes, 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 sir, sir, indeed. Indeed. yes. Okay. You understand? That that is you know basically that is the Shubham, yeah, true. That is the Anything you want to ask? Okay. No, Mr. Shubham. Yes, sir. yes, sir. One more question, sir. I have. Please. Yes, sir. I Shubham. Have... Uh... Hello. Yes. Sir, can I ask one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sir. Your uh, voice is not clear for very, me. Your voice is not clear for me. Thing. Okay, sir. Can so now can I hear my voice, sir? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, sir. Sir, in uh, sir, direction, you have uh, we have to add some inorganic as well as organic uh, nutrient. 
so uh, in organ nutrient you have told that we have to add that diammonium phosphate as well as phosphate and you and lime as uh, some some chemicals so the so what do you, why you are going to use the diammonium phosphate any reason for that sir okay i i i want to know that uh, you are you are just worrying about minerating process in diammonium phosphate is different urea is different yes, so in quantity of urea if you use the 10 kg then you are having big issue so that i put just 4 to 5 kg per acre okay sir so diammonium phosphate if you in kg you will get the acceleration of phytoplankton bloom growth within 24 hours as it is practically visible for 3 days but within 24 hours you can see the change of water color okay sir if you use this urea is high component there is a ammonia component is there chemical composition when it is and as ammonia then you know that what is the issue toxic acid is more poisonous then more fish will get within one day all fish will die they will come and ask sir mir jeter because of urea right okay, so we have to very okay. cautious we are using this inorganic effectively okay. uh, shubham you are okay, maybe you are having um, mid of the presentation you can yes, don't worry you can take and be in touch with us we will help you uh, maybe okay, you are practicing as students i cannot see that the difference is phosphate the difference is phosphate the one is uh, urea you don't have phosphate no sir in That's urea oh, sir in uh, sir er along with urea we are also yeah. using the super phosphate no sir so ah, so, yes. so i am asking so if you are using that super okay. phosphate along with urea phosphate, why, you, why you want to use dat yes, yes, right? yes, yes, that's why sir yes sir yes sir yes sir that's so so when you are using super phosphate yeah when you are using super phosphate you want to say that no need to use this diammonium phosphate so that is the question which you want to ask me Yes, sir. Uh, so other sir want to say that it is a phosphate it is a phytoplankton if it is a nitrogen it is a zooplankton that's a basic yes, concept where we can think but as a practical what you want to see that uh, single super phosphate ssp single yes, super phosphate so when you are using the single super phosphate during the paddy field preparation also they will use ssp so why they will use it will degrade it all the compositions so biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand so now we are going with that whatever the unwanted plankton which is there and it will make you to decompose at the bottom settlements so this diammonium phosphate will help you to generate the fresh plankton and urea it is a supplement to generate the action is kick because when you need energy if you take food also you get energy if you take food also you will get energy but at the same time if you get glucose you will get instant energy yes sir yes, so that glucose is yes, urea for yes, plankton okay, okay sir okay yes, sir, we are having many examples but uh, uh, maybe uh, sometimes forum it should be supported by aqua to solutions yeah. till night till tomorrow also we are ready to discuss okay <laughs> sir thank you sir oh, okay uh, this presentation wala ji yes uh, maybe i just like to be summarize the whole last uh, discussions in that fertilization though it plays a very good uh, uh, role in the plankton management but need to be understand the particular time particular uh, period of uh, day we are using the such kind of fertilization rainy day monsoon day cloudy weather or is a sunny day that also plays very important role of minerals mineralization process in the pond so sometimes we do lots of fertilizations but sometimes it doesn't shows the particular results we are looking for or the the results we are uh, looking for to have it in our pond is not coming up it doesn't mean the process is wrong maybe the particular period of time we are application period of time is maybe not the particular really good so that we are not getting the uh, exact results that's what we just just to be adding with uh, bala and uh, sir thought so thanks once again uh, it was a very good sessions almost 2 hours sessions Let and with uh, yeah bijan sir is there so i will also sorry, request sorry. bijan sir yeah. Uh, yeah yeah 
sir uh, very, very extremely sorry for the connection actually uh, after seeing sir immediately i try to <laughs> come to the network place uh, sir very good evening sir i really happy to see you uh, yes sir yes sir sir also uh, congratulations and uh, best wishes for balaji you did a wonderful presentation and the topic you covered is excellent actually entrepreneurship what we are doing here Deptonu is the right example where sitting, who is conducting this, and uh, integrated fish farming. Actually, lastly, you presented all the some three or four slides mm -hmm. about with uh, poultry cum fish culture and uh, poultry cum art, uh, fish cum articulture. All, all those things we mixed. That is a very very important portion. And also, we are still uh, working in the entrepreneurship and startup promotion and PMOs. Also, a lot of uh, opportunities are there. So, <laughs> any farmers. Interested? Definitely, you can uh, connect with uh, Deepano. Uh, definitely, we will uh, support uh, in this regard. IFS uh, Balaji, once again, a uh, good presentation. Uh, Deepano, you are doing excellent work. As sir said, you, sir. Uh, you follow. Yeah, yeah. Sir said you follow this. This only the uh, participant, uh, important participant, should be there in the, from the end. Yes, that is more uh, important. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So sorry, sir. I just outside the office. That's why I couldn't get the connection. Uh, sure we can uh, meet once again sir 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 okay devdana you just uh, continue, continue okay sir thank you, uh, thank you. so thank much vijayan uh, sir uh, for your uh, uh, participations and also uh, your uh, suggestions and we'll take it forward in coming uh, sessions so that we can connect more people more uh, people should get the right knowledge and also people should get benefited out of it because our objective of sunday talk is also the same because we want to uh, disseminate the knowledge of different experts in the ground level so that we can make this aqua sector also growing with everyone support thanks once again to everyone and it was a very wonderful session of today sunday talk is thanks all the participants along with the speakers and the guests of different places they have participants thanks to everyone hope to see you in coming uh, uh, sunday talk is sessions thanks once again thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you very thank much you. thank you